dear students last time we made a simple structure of an html page today we will make our first attempt to actually display some information on the web browser so this is the html structure we discussed that it starts with html tag and it ends with html tag and there are two sections head and body so the head section is similar to for example when you write an application to your principal so in the start you write write to and then subject so such kind of things which are not concerned with the actual content of your letter or application so all such information is known as header so such header information is basically for you to understand that for what purpose you have made this web page so whatever we will show in this head part will only be displayed to you and this will not be made available to the web browser when your page will be displayed over there and then there is a section known as body so whatever you write within this section body and slash body which is the end of the body so you should note that whenever we start a tag we need to end that tag most of the tags in html need or follow such convention however there are some tags which you do not need to finish or close at the end which we will be learning afterwards so you start with the body tag and you end with the body tag which means whatever you will put over here this will be displayed to the user so we have written another tag h1 h1 mean the heading one tag which means the the content my web page will be displayed to to the user on the web browser in a bigger font so this is the maximum bigger font available as h1 you can use h2 h3 h4 h5 until h6 so h6 will be very small font available on the uh, web browser you can have a practice we will be doing practice right now for some of the things and then you have written another tag known as p which is for a paragraph you are starting a new paragraph and whatever you write within the paragraph tag will be displayed on the web page so let's do it practically so we are over here and we will do the practice of all of these things which we have learnt now so for example first of all we will write all of these things into the notepad so you can just simply copy this thing into the notepad file and then you can save this notepad file as your first document for example i can say first page and it should had an extension of dot html and it is going to be saved and here is the file which ha which has been saved so we discussed that the dis the things which will be displayed are my web page in heading 1 and then click here for another page as a paragraph text so let's see how this will be displayed if user click on this web page so you can see my web page which is in the heading h1 tag that is that is bigger than click here for another web page that is smaller and written in a paragraph tags so this mean this is the maximum heading h1 you can use h2 h3 until h6 so for example if we go back and we write this thing again we copy paste this thing once more 
and put it as H6. to see the difference. So now I am again saving this page and let's retrieve this page. You can see this is H1 heading and this is H6 heading. So H2 to H5 will be adjusted within these two fonts available right now. So we will also learn one more thing that we have written one thing click here for another web page so we want to make this here as a hyperlink which we learned in one of the previous module so whenever we will click on here it should uh, basically redirect us on to virtual university website so let's see how can we achieve this so we are click before here you need to write a tag known as a which is an anchor tag and then you need to write href which is hyper reference where you want to point http colon www dot vu dot edu dot pk so here you want to go and after the world here you need to close this tag so this is what we have written so a href http http and then the whole address of virtual university which should also have pk and then here and then the tag so this means this here will be displayed as an anchor the hyperlink and whenever you click on this this will this web page which you have built right now will be redirecting you to virtual university website so let's save it again save yes and let's open it again so here you can see that previously this here was not hyperlinked but now it is hyperlinked and whenever you go up onto this here then it is redirecting somewhere let's see where it goes oh this has gone to virtual university home page so this is what you can achieve with your html pages so we have discussed html structure and we have done it practically using notepad file and then saving that file as .html extension and we have seen that our first made page in html really worked nicely because it has uh, all of the simple uh, tags available h1 and p and we have also practiced the anchor text using html page so in next lecture we will discuss further on html